I could have sworn that would be a skill book or something. Hello there. Ah, a new phase appears before me. Good day to you, sir. Have you come to hear me spin some tales for your noble self? Uh, there's a bunch of things to talk about. Oh, I can't be bothered. Speak freely, friend. Ah, I don't have time for talk. I'm losing money faster than I can speak. Yeah, they are gambling. Head on. Thought so. Anyway, let's head out of the Red Drake Inn. We need to get to the trade port at the other end of town because that is where we'll find a boat which will take us to uh, the village near Camel Z. The Crusader's Valet. Hmm. Qu'est-ce Aha! A customer! Welcome, friend. Welcome to my glorious bazaar. Let me tell you about my background and trade, or would you prefer me we got straight to the outfitting? I came from High Rock, surely the land of chivalry, to Morrowind, certainly the land of barbarity, in order to teach these Dunmer a thing or two about how to look good while slaying the beast and rescuing the maiden. Uh, I'll admit, I don't have the best materials to work with, but it's a darn sight better than Netch. What does he have, then? A whole bunch of different types of steel cuirass, which is interesting. What am I wearing at the minute? I'm also wearing a steel cuirass. Well, that's nice. He also has some nice gauntlets, which I think I are. they are indeed better than my braces. So I think I will get a pair of them. And he also has another iron left pauldron that's slightly different to the one I have for some reason. I need a right pauldron, that's what I need. Iron Greaves. Imperial Chain Greaves, but I don't have any medium armor skills, so that's useless. I will take that. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. I don't know what I don't even want to know what you're talking about. I must Weird be NPC. Going. <laughs> it's quite funny really. The Warren NPCs always have like the most like perverse, hilarious. Um, random comments to make when you leave them idle for long enough. Under sun and sky. But that's the slums over there, but that's not where we need to go. I just don't think so. This place is a fucking maze, honestly. It's worse than, worse than Vivek. I can never remember which way around it is. Right, no, that's the governor's mansion or whatever. And um, actually, I think the trade port is down here, isn't it? It is! I was right! Ah, but which boat? Well, this one has a bloke standing on it, so I'm going to assume it's this one. Is that another boat over there? Yeah, it is. Can you ask your question quickly? Oh, uh, oh hello. Uh, are you are aware your, your beard mismatches your hair? Um, just, just throwing that out there. Uh, travel to Morog. For five gold coins. Morog is the village next to Camel's A. As anyone who has read the book, The Ruins of Camel's A, will remember. It's quite impressive actually, lots of funky walkways and stuff. And that up there is Camel's A itself. You can see there all like the ruined cliffside with all the the cool dwarven bits hanging off it and stuff. It is there we shall be going. I will listen out um, make it Why can't I move right for some reason? What? Uh, there we go. I think this is the right way. I'm not going to bother stopping in a shop or anything before we go in because we basically have everything we need anyway. And how the hell are you supposed to get there? Well, I suppose by levitating. This is a Telvani village after all. Anyway, enough about that. That's a uh, that's a lighthouse, I think. Um, there's some epic-looking cliffs over there. This is the entrance to Kennel's A. It even says there at the top left. Hang on a minute, what the? Going on the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Brilliant. Wait, this is the right way, right? It's just. Is it just like a really awkward path, or have I literally gone the wrong way? Something's telling me. Um, 
Um, this is looking less and less likely to be the right way by the second. Yeah, no, this can't be it. Oh my god. Oh cool, there's like a whole bit of sunken bit under the ground. I mean, under the water even. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not dead. What the hell? Why am I not dead? <laughs> oh, not that I'm complaining, but... You know. Um. What are those? I, um... I, mm -hmm. See, part of me wants to jump straight into the water and have a look at all this sunken stuff. But at the same time... Oh, fuck it, let's do it. Although I want to find out what these are. Black lichen. Huh. Splosh! Okay, then maybe the water was a little bit closer than I thought it was. And oh my god, something's attacking. Oh, a slaughterfish, what else could it be? Come on then. Come on then. And that was the end of him. Why, well, yeah, there is loads of stuff down here. I wonder if there's like an entrance to an underwater bit down here. Unfortunately, I don't have a water breathing spell, I only have a water walking one. But otherwise, I'd go down there and have a really good look. It's all pretty epic. Ah, oh, shit, 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 don't drown. Don't. Ugh. Hmm. Cool. Anyway, um, I think now might be a good time to drink that um, Rising Force potion, although. 30 seconds, okay. We have 30 seconds to get out of the water before we fall to our deaths. Hopefully find the correct way up the cliffside, actually. While we're at it. I, never, I don't ever recall having much trouble with this, actually, to be honest with you, but... You know, whatever. Right, okay. Here we go. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, yes, here's the entrance to Camel J. There's also some steps going up that way. Maybe we, we, maybe we went to go, meant to go up and then down or something. Who knows? But anyway, we have finally reached the entrance. To the great ruin of Camel J. It looks pretty epic, doesn't it? It's a great big fucking robot ballista thing, whatever the hell that is. Uh, mm -hmm. I think one of these crates has, ah oh, yes, a Dwarven Battle Axe and a Dwemer Bracer no less as well. Which I think, and now I'm just going to quick save this, but I think you can actually take these and they won't, the guard won't have a go at you for it, from what I remember. Can I hide behind the crate? Well, it's just yeah, see, look, he didn't give a damn. It's awesome. Free Dwayne Axe for the win. And I think I'll take that bracer too. So, yeah, we've, we've not even gone into the place, and we now have two Dwayne artifacts. Sweet. Although, we're going to need them. But, yeah, so anyway, uh, this is the entrance to Camel's A, and it uh, looks fairly epic, even if it doesn't have Speak Friend and Enter written above it. Um, that would have been just awesome. Or maybe I'd, I'd laugh if that was Dwemer for not to speak friend and enter. It'd be an epic reference. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm going to cut off the recording here, and I shall return soon. This is not just, however, I might like to add, because I'm feeling a bit lazy and have other things to do today. It's also, in fact, because I actually need to um, print off a map of Camel's A, the interior, before we actually go any further, because otherwise I will actually, I will quite honestly get lost. This place is huge. Um, so yeah. Join us next time on Let's Play Merrowind to hopefully bag ourselves some ancient epic treasure and loot and fight some deep dark evil monster things, you know. Um, hope there won't be a Balrog down there somewhere waiting for us, but you never know. I've not explored the whole place before, so yes, spooky things inside and stuff anyway. Um thanks you thanks you for thanks you for watching. Okay.
Well, we're all with that. Thanks you for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Ta-ta.